everybody, welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I am Nick. Today we have another first impressions for you. This one just got recently in the mail, uh, depending on when I post this, like a week or two ago. This is batch two of Blue Run's Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey High Rye Recipe. This is 111, 111 proof, 55.5%. So Blue Run is kind of like a new thing that kind of exploded out of nowhere. You're doing a lot of cool things. Um, so new that I don't think they're even doing uh, distillery tours, but apparently they're located in uh, Bardstown. I've had their batch one. I tried it with my wife at a um, a liquor barn on her way back from Louisville. So, and that, that blew my mind, how good it was. It was so unique. So I'm really interested in how this will be. Very premium brand of bourbon, not cheap. It's got a lot of different recipes I see on their website. So if you want to check them out, go to Blue Run's website, which is probably linked on their Instagram. Just search Blue Run. Mm, already smells good. Don't know the age on this. Uh, it has a mash bill on the back, but I'm not. We'll get to that for the YouTube review. Don't want to spoil too much. So the color, it's like a straight caramel. Some floaties in there. Maybe it's a uh, non-chill filter. Who knows? It is a little cloudy. It's a little bit. Kind of smells, kind of smells sour. What is that smell? Like sourdough. Maybe a little bit of fruit, cherry or strawberry, something like that, like a light fruit. Floral, it's like a light flower, like a lilac. That's kind of funny because, you know, butterflies are logo. It has a very unique scent. I don't think I've smelled this on a on a bourbon before. Besides the, um, I had some Old Forester birthday and that was like really, it was like running through a field of flowers. That's what, that's what it smelled like. That's kind of how this is, but not as strong. Yeah, just fresh, fresh, very herby, fresh flowers. Maybe some grass or hay or something. It's just very earthy, very herby. Some like, um, I can't remember what it was called, but there's little flowers you pick off the, the trees and you can kind of lick them. Honeysuckle, honeysuckle, that's what it is. That's kind of what I'm getting. All right, enough talk, let's get into it. Ooh, oh my God. Has a lot of flavor. It's like like a multiple layers of flavor right ahead with some pepper, the floral notes, the like the herbal notes, the fruit. Wow. This is really tasty. It's a little peppery, but that's probably the rye in there. It is 60, no, it's 30% rye. So it's a little higher in rye than typical bourbons. There's a bit of a bite to it, but that that's a pepper, I think. It's pretty good. That rye note, spicy though, it is pretty spicy. Now that I'm tasting it, it's kind of like a uh, like a jalapeno or some kind of pepper. Hmm. I might prefer batch one, I'm not sure. A 
but really tasty. Really tasty. Um, in in uh, conclusion, uh, the jalapeno pepper note kind of takes over, but after you get past that in the beginning, you get like a, like, like I said, honeysuckle, maybe some light fruits, like some peaches and pears, and then you kind of finish off with like an herby grass note. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you have any recommendations of what we should do next, let us know. Uh, follow us on Instagram. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next person person's review. Cheers.